Yo, what's up with it, y'all? It's JD, and I'm back with another quick video. In today's video, I'm out here in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, out here in this neighborhood that I'm uh, staying in. I believe it's called uh, Maracana, either that or Villa Isabella. Uh, but today's video is actually going to be about calisthenics and something I feel like can't be stressed enough, which is the importance of the fundamentals. So for me personally, I think the fundamental exercise when it comes down to calisthenics are pull-ups, push-ups, dips, squats, and lunges, all important body weight movements. And for me, it's something that I always incorporate in my workout in one shape or form. So it might not just be your traditional pull-up, it might not be your traditional squat, it might not be your traditional dip, but I'm gonna have some type of form of that movement in almost every single one of my workouts. But before we get into the video, if you guys are interested in fitness, health, overall growth content, travel content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can get updated every time I drop new content. But let's get back into the video. So last night, me and my homeboys, we went out to this club out in this area. I believe it's called like Barra Tajuka. I think they pronounce it Baja, but I'm not exactly sure. It's spelled like Barra to Tajuka or something like that. But anyways, it's out on the beach out in uh, Rio. But anyways, dope little neighborhood. It's got like, uh, you know, some dope little beach bars, uh, super nice beach, everything like that. But that's not what this video is about. But anyways, what the video actually is about is the fact that I went out to the club last night, drank, ate some, I didn't really eat unhealthy yesterday, but I definitely did a lot of drinking. And that's something I usually try not to do too much of is too much drinking, especially like, uh, late at night because you know, it's gonna affect your workouts the next day So for me whenever I have a night like that or whenever I have a night where I'm like eating super late or doing anything That's kind of out of my character What I do is I usually do a workout that's more strictly fundamental based and I just do some pull-ups I do some push-ups. I do some dips. I do some squats I do some lunges and usually what I try to do is I try to do it at a high volume something that I kind of you know, it's not anything that's too crazy. I'm not out here doing handstand push-ups today. I actually tried to do some back levers earlier, but my body just really just didn't have the strength to do it. I mean, I did it, hold it for a very short amount of time, but anytime your body's compromised, maybe you're getting over being sick, or maybe you, you know, took a layoff from working out and you haven't been working out as consistent as you wanted to, uh, what I would recommend is always going back to those fundamentals. You can always go back to those fundamentals. You can do pull-ups. There's so many different ways of doing pull-ups. You can do regular pull-ups, you can do chin-ups, you can do L-sits, you can do close grips, you can do wide grips. Uh, dips is the same thing. You can do the regular dips. You can, you know, internally rotate your shoulders, do dips like that, do the regular bench dips. You know, there's so many different ways to do that. Squats, you can do jump squats, you can do regular squats, uh, curtsy squats, split squats, whatever it may be, and lunges. Today I did like a side form of lunges. I did like some deep, side lunges as opposed to just doing the regular you know forward forward moving lunges or the back lunges or anything like that so there's so many different variations that you can do and so many different things that you can take out of these fundamentals and so many different directions you can go with it you can go explosive you can go slower and controlled tons of possibilities but the moral of the video is that always stick to the fundamentals don't ever lose sight of the fundamentals it's great to train things like handstands, handstand push-ups, muscle-ups. Uh, it's great to train things like uh, human flags, front levers, back levers, but at the end of the day, if you're somebody who's in calisthenics, not only to build skill set and strength, but somebody who's in calisthenics to actually maintain a nice physique, you're gonna wanna make sure that you stick to the fundamentals because in all actuality, if you just stick to the fundamentals alone, you can build an extremely extremely impressive physique i think that you know if it was just physique based i probably would just only be out here doing a lot of fundamental exercise i probably do them maybe at a few different angles but i would probably just be doing fundamentals i don't really think that you know doing handstand push-ups i mean yeah it's great for the shoulders but in order to get to doing handstand push-ups you have to go through so many progressions that don't necessarily actually do anything for your physique uh, at all so you know, the skill things, those are nice for show. Those are nice to kind of push yourself and give yourself a nice challenge. But as far as building a nice physique, always to go back to the fundamentals. And as far as if you kind of fell off and you want to bounce back, or if you had a rough cheat weekend or something like that, or maybe you were drinking the night before, just like I was doing last night, uh, yeah, go back to the fundamentals. It's, you can never go wrong with it. But anyways, guys, I'll uh, 
probably have been showing you guys footage of my uh, workout today and probably also showed you guys a few clips of uh, when I was out partying last night as well. I'm, I'm actually gonna make a separate video about that club that I went to last night. It was a pretty dope little club. To be completely honest with you guys though, I'm just not a club person anymore. I'm not a club person and I'm not really like a nightlife person like that anymore. But I probably go out a few times while I'm out here in Brazil just to kind of get some footage to show you guys what the options are and you know what's out there but I'm not really into being out late. Uh, I'm really not into drinking an excessive amount uh, because it affects my workouts and it just affects my ability to enjoy the next day. I mean, not necessarily saying that I'm hungover, but you know, you're just gonna need a little bit more sleep. You start your day off a little bit later. And for me personally, when it comes down to my performance, working out after a night of drinking is usually not optimal. And guys, if you guys are interested in getting in the best shape of your life, go ahead and hit my website up. That's travelsnakes.com. Book a free consultation with me today. We can chop it up for about 15 minutes, map out a blueprint for you. If you guys wanna work with me on some one-on-one -on -one coaching, that'd be great. Also, I also have an eight-week program for beginners, a 12-week program for intermediates. Uh, you can find that on my website as well. Hope everybody's having a great day out there. If you guys have any, uh, if you guys have any subjects that you guys would like me to cover in the future, go ahead and leave that in the comment section. Uh, I'll highlight you guys later. Hope everybody's having a great day out there. Peace.